As you try to roll out Pi ActiveView, there's some notes you should keep in mind about the installation. First of all, uh, ActiveView, as I mentioned earlier, it does have to be installed on any of the clients that are going to be making use of the RT ActiveView web part. Now, you can actually uh, just simply install the setup kit individually on each machine. It means going around each machine with a user who's privileged enough to install, carrying a CD version or uh, or pointing to some kind of a network reference or reference to do the install locally. So that can be done. Uh, most people would like a more sophisticated way of doing it, rolling it out to you know hundreds of users. So we do have a support in the earlier versions for an automatic uh, cab file download, uh, similar to what you would see if you go to, uh, for example, you know a Disney website and they say, well, you need to use the Flash plugin to look at the content here, something like that. Uh, there's details in the uh, ActiveView documentation on how to set up that cab file, but we've actually got a, a more sophisticated way of doing that, or a better way of doing that now. We no longer support in the latest version, the 3.1 version, doing the cab file download. That was a huge download uh, to try to automate something like that. Something is such a large download, something that requires privileges like that. Uh, we we think that the better approach is to do what we're now doing, which is to promote support remote installs through a tool like um, Microsoft System Management Server, uh, the SMS utilities. So that's what we would suggest as far as the rollout for ActiveView.